common myth among the Indian Hindu society is that solar and lunar eclipses are caused by Rahu and Ketu. They are also sometimes referred as the Chaya Graha, meaning shadowy planets. Ancient Hindu scriptures tell us that once Lord Vishnu became angry with the demon Rahu for stealing the celestial liquor and beheaded him with his Sudarshan Chakra. Thereafter his head started to move across the sky and eventually ended up eating the sun and the moon causing their eclipse. This story was told to the people in ancient India as they were not interested in the scientific or the real meaning of Rahu and Ketu. They are nothing but two imaginary astronomical points called the ascending and descending lunar nodes respectively. To understand the nodes, let us first understand the ecliptic plane. It is the plane containing the orbit of the earth around the sun. Or in a geocentric perspective, ecliptic plane is the plane containing the orbit of the sun around the earth. Though both of them means the same thing, just differing in the frame of reference. The moon also revolves around the earth in 27.3 days. So it must also have a plane containing its own orbit around the earth. Now these two planes are not the same. The plane of the orbit of moon is tilted by an angle of 5.14 degrees from the ecliptic plane, keeping the center of earth as their common center. You can imagine the ecliptic as a surface of water kept in a bucket and the plane of moon as a disk which is half immersed in water at an angle of 5.14 degree from the water surface. Now the circumference of the disk will intersect the water surface at two points or in other words the orbit of the moon intersects the plane of the sun at two points, two opposite points as during revolution the moon crosses the ecliptic twice because half of its journey in its orbit is below the ecliptic and in the other half above the ecliptic. As the center of earth is the common center for both the sun earth plane and the earth moon plane. These two points are the lunar nodes. One is called the ascending node as after crossing it the moon goes above the ecliptic. This ascending node is called Rahu. The point lying 180 degree opposite to the ascending node is called the descending node as the moon goes below the ecliptic after crossing this point in its orbit. This point is called K2 in Indian astronomy. The line joining Rahu and K2 or the ascending and descending node is called the line of nodes. Now astrodynamics has proven that this line of nodes is not stationary. Due to precision of the lunar orbit, the line of nodes also revolves around the earth and completes one revolution in every 18.5999 or 18.6 years. In other words, the lunar nodes keep sweeping along the orbit of moon and completes one revolution around earth in 18.6 years. Now we come to the relation of Rahu and Ketu with eclipses. Remember solar eclipse occurs when the shadow of the moon falls on earth and lunar eclipse occurs when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon. As light travels in straight line in space to cast shadow on each other, the sun, moon and earth have to form a straight line or in other words they have to be in the same plane. But these two heavenly bodies are not in the same plane with respect to earth except at the lunar nodes. Now for eclipses to occur, two conditions have to be satisfied simultaneously. One, the earth, moon and sun have to be in a straight line and number two is that moon must be at one of the nodes. This means that the moon must be present at one of the nodes at the time of full moon a new moon for eclipses to occur. This explains why we don't experience eclipse at every new moon or full moon because the shadow of the moon or earth misses each other as 
at that time the moon is either above or below the ecliptic plane. This also explains why we don't experience eclipse whenever the moon crosses the nodes because again the shadow of earth and moon will miss each other because they are not aligned in a straight line. Therefore an eclipse can occur only when the moon is at either of its nodes at the time of new moon or full moon so that the sun, moon and earth are exactly aligned in a straight line from every angle in space. At the time of new moon, the moon is between earth and the sun and by chance if it is at one of its nodes, it will cast its shadow on earth and people on earth in that path will not be able to see the sun or in other words witness a solar eclipse. Similarly, at the time of full moon, the earth is between the sun and the moon and if the moon at that time is present at one of the nodes, earth will cast its own shadow on the moon and we on earth will not be able to see the moonlight because the moon will not get any light from the sun to shine. In other words, a lunar eclipse would occur. This is the whole story about Rahu and Ketu. They are not at all related to astrology but are important components of astronomy as they are nothing but the ascending and descending nodes of lunar orbit. Only their myths and stories can be left for astrology. Okay, now answer one question in the comment section. There is a famous phrase in astronomy that an eclipse never comes alone as it is always seen that whenever there is a lunar eclipse 14 days later there is always a solar eclipse in some part of the earth and vice versa. What is the reason for this regularity?